Goldie facing off against Meatball Molly McCann. I think she just denied she said no. the touch of gloves. She's straight to action, pushes back Goldie. Well, Hannah Goldie better be prepared to fight at an incredibly high pace immediately. This might be the first time in recent memory that Meatball Molly actually isn't surrendering a ridiculous reach disadvantage as well. Yeah, somebody that's finally right around that same height, same size. Maybe even, did she have a longer reach or was the same she reach? did, yeah, I think like an inch or something. Ooh, big right hand misses. Yeah, but Hannah's jacked. Molly called her the muscles from Brussels this week. Nice work there from Goldie. Oh, big right hand from Molly. Lovely one, two. And that's what she's got to do. I think this is right where the range is that Molly wants to fight at. Get behind that jab, work the body as well. Yeah, without doubt, Molly has a big advantage in the hands. She's a very, very good boxer. Loves to work the body, good pressure, high output, decent head movement. She cannot sleep on the kickboxing of Hannah Goldie, though. I know she won't get lazy. No, absolutely Iska, not. Former Esca champion in kickboxing. It's the Floridian. I like that Molly's starting to prod to the body with that lead jab. It's going to open up that right hand over the top. Switching stances, too. I mean, that is the obvious game plan for Hannah Gold to try and take it down. She's tried a couple of times so far, but they were lousy attempts, if I'm honest. This is better. She's in deep, up against the fence. Let's see if the takedown defense holds up. Hannah's going to reach down, potentially grab one of the ankles. She's adjusted position now. A lot of the guys at Next Generation in Liverpool have been preparing for fights. We had the Cage Warriors promotion on last night. A number of the guys there were actually scheduled to fight. A couple of them didn't get a fight, which was uh, pretty tragic for them. This is a really strong position for Hannah Gold. I mean, you can see the strength that yes, she has. I was just going to say that. She's in deep. She trains at Fusion XL, as you mentioned, John, with a bunch of killers and some of the top of the food chain jiu-jitsu Really good grab people, yeah. And... Get close to this. Nice job from... Drake McCann. put a million dollars on her to win, you know? Was it not? Two million dollars on a parlay? Yes, a but that's parlay. including Paddy. Okay, Paddy's not in the cage. We're talking Molly. Uh, does it work <laughs> like that? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, it's a lot of money. You're More absolutely money than I can right. put on a bet. No, it's a parlay. You're absolutely right, John. Even so. 2.3, I think. Jeez. Jeez. God, God, win dear. How the other half live, huh? I mean... What, you don't make 2.3? <laughs> Fortunately, yeah. Israel Adesanya broke the Drake curse last time out when he defeated Jared Cannon. Yeah, but that was a good time. Nice time. Take down a 10 you see, down. You see oh, the jump in Molly. Really great athleticism by Molly McCann. And you wonder what that energy bar is going to be looking like for Hannah Goldie. I know this is a better weight class for her. She won't be as depleted. But efforting some takedowns like that. She's got pretty good defense. Yeah, she Using has. the elbow and the forearm to block some of the shots nicely. And Molly's got to be careful. If she punches the elbow, she could hurt her hand. So It was here in the O2 that McCann made history. Oh. Having the first English woman to get a win in the octagon. The first Brit, obviously, being Joanne Calderwood, who I think oh, is here, here, actually. This is where Molly needs to be careful. Last time out, Hannah Goldie got a victory over Emma Whitmire in a similar kind of fashion. Oh, that's a big right hand from Molly. Oh, oh that's the other one. Oh, she's hurt again. That's it. Oh, she's it's done. It's done. She melts. Hannah Goldie to the camera. Oh.